Marvel Podcast. For this episode, I want to focus on iMovie and all the latest updates that came with iOS 9 and El Capitan. Of course, there's 4K video. You can shoot 4K video on your new iPhone 6S, and you can view it on your Retina iMac, and as well as edit in Final Cut and iMovie. That's a great feature to have. But what's really exciting, at least for me, is the ability to edit movies created on your iOS device on your desktop. That's right, up until this point, you could not do that. So now you can actually go ahead, export your project from your iPhone or your iPad. You can save it to iCloud, or you can save it through AirDrop even, and then open that file right up in iMovie. So let me just take you through the steps and how that's done. It's pretty easy. So when you first open up your iPhone or iPad, and you're in the project pane, you're going to see the big edit button, but beneath that you're going to see the share button. And when you click on that share button, you'll see you have several options. You can use AirDrop to save to your desktop, which is a very quick way to actually transfer project files. But what's also nice is you can share it to iTunes, and most importantly to iCloud. And now with the new iCloud app, you can access these projects fairly easily from your Mac and your iOS device. When you open iMovie on your desktop, you'll see an option under the file menu to import from iOS. It's really that simple. Files come in almost instantly. It's nice being able to have this cross-platform synchronization. Now there's only one limit to this. You cannot export projects from the desktop to iOS. And the main reason for that probably, and I'm going to speculate here, but there's still a lot of features in the desktop version that are not available for iOS. So it would be difficult to transfer those files to the mobile platform. But stay tuned. I'm sure Apple's working on that.